rest, more rest, more X's and O's was kind of in the process. No, just, just fine tuning some things. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, coupled with healing our bodies, we had a few people um, that are banged up a little <laughs> bit. Um, you know, but I think just, just emphasis on a few specific things defensively um, and just continuing our flow and, and playing in the half court at a faster pace um, offensively. Do you think Creighton is kind of adjusted? Well, it's hard to adjust not having Watson, but are they further along in that progression? They, I mean, obviously, the, the first time we played them, I think it was the first or second game, second. second game after he went down. And they have adjusted. They've adjusted a lot, quite quite honestly, doing things much different. So I think so. You know, But they have so many <laughs> weapons that it's easy to adjust. Um, but yes, I feel that they have adjusted to how, how they're, they're doing things. Uh, I don't want to say much differently, but, but differently. Um, without Mo in the game, uh, and, and they're used to it then. Will you have uh, Trey Campbell or something? No. And he, you had said about a week or so last time. Yeah, uh, I mean, being honest, he, he came yesterday and did some stuff and it kind of swelled up a little bit on him, so um, no. I, I don't know, it's, 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 you know, I don't want to say it's not major, it's not major, but um, he's just plugging a little. A lease out for something. Yes. I'm having an old guy moment, but they're two guards. He uh, he really gets buckets. Talk about you know, Foster. You're talking Foster, about? yeah, trying to curtail that guy. Um, what was your old guy moment? You didn't remember his name. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's one of the better scores in our league, and we have some pretty good scores in this league. You know, um, you're, you're filming. Does a camera mix? <laughs> <laughs> um, and he can score in different ways. You know, he can catch and shoot. He can catch and shoot with you on him. He can take it off the bounce. He'll post up. He'll go to the mid post, um, and so he poses. And he's so strong, you know. He's so strong that he can hold you off and get to where he wants to go. Um, and so he, he's he's a problem. I mean, he's one of the leading scorers in the league, uh, and because he can score in so many different ways, he's not limited to oh, I need to make jump shots. Oh, I need to 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 just drive. John, what kind of environment are you expecting at, at Great? Obviously, they sell the place out. They pack it. They have great great fans. Yeah, I think. I mean, that fans. You you said you hit it. Have you been out there? Yeah. It's 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 um. Their fans are crazy, uh, and I say that in a positive, in a positive sense. I mean, like you say, it's going to be sold out. It's loud in there, um, you know. It, it it it's one of the, you know, probably more difficult places to play in our league. To be honest, but but that's their fans are great, and they definitely feel it, and they definitely see it, and it, it definitely energizes them. And you know, you start going through the scout report, start analyzing games, like, oh, well, this guy at home, he's really good. And, you know, he's a little different on the road. For a while, it seemed like the best way to attack Patton was to play him physically. Do you, from watching film, do you think he's adjusted to that now? Some people have him as a lottery pick, right? Yeah. And I think they're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's he's adjusted. He's skilled. He's long. He plays energy. He's smart. Um, he's poised. I mean, he's. I don't think there's anything you can do to, to, to fluster him, um, and 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 they they know that, and so you know he he can make an outside shot, he can score inside. Um, he's fast. Uh, he's really really good. Case, is uh, case money available? BJ, yes. I don't know how much, but will he be able to? I mean, he he went today part of practice, and so I think he'll be able to give us something on Sunday. Jesse Govan has been a key to a lot of the recent success. And how important is it for him to keep up to this level for you guys? Well, it's crucial. You know, I've said all year when when LJ and Rodney play well together, and there, been, there were too many stretches early on where one would play well and one wouldn't. When they both play well together, we're pretty good. When you get LJ and Rodney plus Jesse or, or Marcus, um, I don't think we've lost too many games when, when we've had three guys play well. So, um, you know, Jesse Jesse is an asset, uh, much like different, but but like Pat because he can play outside and inside. He stretches the floor. He opens up driving lanes um, for for our guys that can drive and, and cutting alleys because he can make an outside shot. So people have to respect that and guard him outside, or he's going to make easy shots. If you look at the like, say the last like five games, the game for Jesse has been scoring a lot. You guys have won the two games where he doesn't get as, <clears throat> didn't take as many shots. You guys haven't won. Is it something about him be, need to be more aggressive or, or just <coughs> find in some more spots? No, when he plays with energy, he usually plays well. When he plays with energy, he finds a way to get his shots.
you've always said you guys within this league, you've got a lot of opportunities. Opportunities still there, man. You're down to five. How important is, is it, you know? They're, they're important. They're important. I mean, there's still five opportunities. And so that, that, that tune hasn't changed. You just got to win. Anything else, guys? Thank you. Thank you, John. All right.